Now I want you to check these out. And if you're thinking they're drinking straws, guess what? You're wrong, okay? They're plastic tubes that are really cool. And I'm going to show you what they are and how to use them coming up next. Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and if it's your first time here, I just want to say welcome. Now, I've got something in my hand, and it probably looks familiar. It's the cord to a laptop computer, and it's been repaired. We, we have a kitten in the house, and this kitten likes to chew everything. I mean, every electrical cord. I'm glad that cats have nine lives. Well, I noticed this one the other day, and I don't know who it was, but they repaired it, or they tried to repair it, with electrical tape. And what I will tell you is this. Those plastic tubes that I showed you in the beginning of the video, those are the perfect thing to make repairs to electrical wires. And I'm going to show you how it works, so let's get started. So what these plastic tubes are, check this out. It's heat shrinking tubing, right? For making electrical repairs. This kit, this is heat shrink tubing as well. Different diameters, different lengths, different colors, because you never know what you're going to be repairing. Now, assortment packs are really great to have because you've got really tiny tubing and really big fat tubing included as well. Now here's the repair I made to the cord that the kitten chewed. It was a little complicated because there were two wires inside, see? And I wanted to start off with something really simple to show you. But for now, let's just plug it in, make certain that it works so you can see that this is a great way to fix cords. There we go. So I found a piece of one wire cable lying around the shop and it is the perfect cable to show you how the process works. We're going to cut this wire right here. Now I'm going to strip it with my wire strippers. We're just going to give it a slight tug just like that. There we go. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. Now we've got both ends of our wires prepared. Now the next step, and this is really, really important, before we join our two wires together, we have to put that heat shrink tube on. Now you want to pick an appropriate size sleeve, something that's gonna slide on easily, but not be so large that once you shrink it, it doesn't form a tight bond around the existing wire. Now it's time for me to join the two wires together. I'm gonna to make an X like this, okay? And this wire here, I'm going to fold backwards. This wire here, I'm gonna fold toward me. Now you're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing because, well, my hands are really big and the wires are really small. So there's our splice right there. It's nice and tight and compact. I've got my wire here suspended between two clamps. Here's our tubing there. I'm gonna slide it right over the repair area just like that. Just like that. Now it's time for us to shrink it down the size. Now to shrink the tubing, I'm gonna use a heat gun. That's it. We just got to give it a second to cool off. Let's test our repair. There we go. That's the repair area. Let's give it a good tug. Well, nothing beats that. That's a lot better than electrical tape, I'll tell you. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make a repair to a wire using heat shrink tubing. It was pretty easy, wasn't it? Did I tell you it was going to be easy? In fact, it's the easiest, most simple way to make a repair to a wire that's broken, or in my case, a kitten 
chewed on it. Now what I want to tell you is this. I want to say that there is a way to strengthen that splice with just a little dab of electrical solder. We didn't need it with our repair, but if you want to do that, you can. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below the video to this stuff here, this heat shrink tubing, along with the other tools I used in the video so you can check it out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.